The Sega Saturn is, in my opinion, probably the most underrated games console of all time. There are literally hundreds upon hundreds of great games for this system, which many people would have passed by simply because they own Nintendo 64s and Sony Playstations instead. Believe it or not, this is a system with an amazing library depth to it, even if many of these titles were only released in Japan. Despite all of this though, we are not going to look at the top 50 Saturn releases of all time today. We are not even going to be looking back at the top 50 Japan exclusive Saturn games. Oh no no no. Today we are going to go even more obscure and look at the top 50 Saturn games that could have been. As we all know, due to poor sales in comparison to its competition, the Saturn's lifespan was cut short. So today, I'd like you all to sit back, relax and look at 50 Saturn games that never quite saw the light of day. Let us start today's list off with one of the most infamous cancelled Saturn games, Sonic Extreme. This game was intended to be the first fully 3D Sonic game, but unfortunately got forever caught in development hell. This ambitious game could have been a potential game changer, and as you can see from the clips I am showing you, over the game's development cycle, three different game engines were created, each of which managed to reach various levels of polish. It's a crying shame this game never saw the light of day, given Sonic's popularity at the time. Chris Chan would have bloody loved this one! Comic Zone on the Mega Drive is arguably one of the most memorable and creative games on the whole entire platform. A quick pitch was allegedly put together for a 3D based Comic Zone on the Saturn. This was put together during the developer's downtime from working on Sonic Extreme. There was said to be some level of interest from Marvel and a lot more from Japan to create the game. But sadly even less progress was made with this one than even with Sonic Extreme. The bizarre full motion video game, known as Burn Cycle, is said to be by many as one of the best games on the entire Philips CDI platform. This odd game is set in an odd looking world, which to me looks like the bloody fifth element meeting Red the Wolf. At one point in time this game was set to be ported to the Sega Saturn, however sadly this surreal experience remained a Philips CDI exclusive. Air Nights is the name of an unreleased sequel to Nights into Dreams, once set for release on the Sega Saturn, then later slated for release on the Sega Dreamcast. The game never materialised, though a sequel to the game did eventually turn up on the Nintendo Wii of all things. Upon further inspection though, the Wii release made a lot of sense, as Air Nights was meant to use a special controller intended to detect motion. Gender Wars is a real-time tactics adventure game. In the future, after an era of political correctness and equality, humanity is divided into two hostile factions who opposed each other, which makes me question now whether this game in fact managed to actually predict the future. I wonder if the last boss is Anita Sarkeesian. The player controls a squad leader and any of his or her members as they kill enemies, destroy enemy facilities or retrieve devices. Despite never making it to the Sega Saturn, Gender Wars at least made it to the PC. Everyone loves a bit of PC in 2017. Popular Mega Drive franchise, Echo the Dolphin, actually receives 5 minutes of fame on the Sega Saturn 2. Well, kind of, anyway. There was an Echo the Dolphin tech demo which got featured in the CG promo Sega VHS from 1994. Unfortunately, this game never quite made it past the concept stage, however it is still awesome to at least look at this footage today. Roll Cage is a racing game once set for release on the 3DO and Sega Saturn. Both versions were cancelled for unknown reasons. The game however did see releases on both the PS1 and PC. The vehicles in Roll Cage are all double sided and can be driven on either side, as well as along walls and ceilings if they are driven fast enough. On other platforms, the game received positive reviews with one source stating that Psygnosis takes RC racing far beyond the imagination with this indestructible new battle racer. Monica no Shia is an unreleased Sega Saturn game. It was developed as Faradun The Legend of Dragon Castle and renamed later in 1997. This game had been placed within Game Magazine's release calendars for a long time, but disappeared by spring 1999. Looking at footage of this game, it looks like at one stage that it could have ended up being a decent JRPG. 
Rayman 2 was originally planned for release on the Sega Saturn and Sony PlayStation, not to be confused with Rayman 2 The Great Escape. This version of the game is significant as it was presented in 2D with multiple planes, similar to Clockwork Knight and several other platformers from the era. If you know me and my channel, you will know I have always preferred 2D platformers over their 3D counterparts, so it is a crying shame that Ubisoft chose to go the 3D route instead. By now, most of you will be familiar with Shenmue for the Sega Dreamcast. This game stands as one of the most significant games ever published by Sega, and at the time being the most expensive game ever produced. The game had unparalleled interactivity and freedom, real-time day-night and weather systems, and fully voiced non-playable characters. All this was laced with beautiful cutting-edge graphics. What some of you may not necessarily know though, was that this game was astonishingly originally in development for the Sega Saturn instead, as this footage illustrates. I don't know about you, but I certainly wouldn't mind a Saturn version of Shemu amongst my collection. Tomb Raider 2 was amongst the most popular games in the entire Sony PlayStation library. Interestingly though, the first game in the series, the original Tomb Raider, had been designed with the Saturn in mind, debuting way before the PlayStation's release. Tomb Raider 2 is one of the more notorious games missing from the Saturn library, as the game was eagerly awaited by the gaming press and went on to become a bestseller. Barbed Wire was a planned action game based on the 1996 film with the same name. This cancelled first person shooter may have been cancelled due to the film it being based on flopping badly at the cinema. Apparently you could play as Pamela Anderson and the game would have included a deathmatch mode with specifically designed multiplayer levels. If the game existed I guess it probably would have been fun to play as Borat too. Clockwork Knight Penguin Wars was a game to be based on the Clockwork Knight series. It was cancelled for unknown reasons, but a prototype surfaced in 2006. The gameplay in this prototype is similar to that of a separate franchise, Pengo. The game is played from a top-down perspective and the player can pick up blocks from underneath him to reveal eggs. The object of the game is to defeat all enemies by kicking eggs at them. End of Fun is a single player puzzle game released in 1995 for Mac and PC, which also at one point was set to be released on the Saturn. This is a decent puzzle game which has been stated by reviewers to be a zen sort of experience in the same way that Tetris is sometimes. The game features mesmerising graphics, colourful motion and beautiful jazzy background tunes. Flying Aces is a cancelled flight simulator shooter set in the First World War. The game was originally in development for the 32X, however later development was transferred to the Saturn. Only a few screenshots now remain of this game as neither versions of Flying Aces were ever released. Which is a shame really considering Rocket Science has a fairly decent track record of creating decent games. Kumite was intended to be a sort of virtual fighter style game, though visually it had more in common with Battle Arena Toshinden and other Tesco value 3D fighting genre games, like the example I'm using in this video. The AAA super franchise, known as Grand Theft Auto, was originally intended to debut on the Sega Saturn, as well as on the Nintendo 64 and some other platforms. Sadly though, the game only made it to the Sony PlayStation and the PC. However, the sequel, Grand Theft Auto 2, did manage to make an appearance on the Dreamcast, so at least we got one GTA game on a Sega platform. Sonic the Fighters is a competitive fighting game in which characters fight against each other. This game saw a limited release in North American arcades, as Sega of America considered the game's portrayal of Sonic and his friends to be too violent. A Sega Saturn version of the game was also announced for late 1996, but never saw a release, though some elements appeared in the Saturn game Fighters Mega Mix, which features Bart the Polar Bear and Bean the Dynamite as playable characters. Down in the Dumps is a cancelled Sega Saturn adventure game that was originally planned for the Philips CDI. The game was instead eventually released in Europe on the PC instead. Throughout this game, the player has to solve different puzzles in order to advance the plot by using a point and click interface. Large portions of the plot are also told by pre-rendered cinematics. Ninja for the Sega Saturn is an unreleased action game developed by Core Designs. 
it was subtitled as Ninja Shadow of Darkness and released for the PlayStation in 1998. The game was announced relatively early in the Saturn's lifespan and it is thought, much like Tomb Raider, to have originally been built with the Sega system in mind, before being brought over to the PlayStation. Overall, I suppose the game functions as an average action beat-em-up. Terminus was a cancelled action-adventure shooter game that was in development by Scavenger Inc. for multiple platforms including the Saturn in 1996. According to the game's official press release, the game was intended to give Tomb Raider a run for its money, but sadly the company ran out of money and Terminus was terminated. Fyro and Claude was a game originally intended for release on the Saturn, but sadly only made it to the PS1 and PC. In this game you take the role of Fyro, an ape police detective, or Claude, an odd job cat and set out to find out who is distributing phony dollar bills around the city. Each level consists of branching paths to take in the story, all ending up in the same place eventually, which was quite novel for the time period. Waterworld is a platform action game developed by Ocean Software for the Sega Mega Drive, 32X and Sega Saturn, based upon the 1995 terrible film Waterworld. The game was set for release in September 1995 but was cancelled for unknown reasons. The game did however eventually surface on the bloody Virtual Boy of all things. Inferno is a space combat simulator video game developed by Digital Image Design and published by Ocean Software in 1994 for the PC. It is the sequel to the 1992 game Epic. A Sega Saturn version of this game was also set for release. However, like every other game on this list, it never saw the light of day. Killing Time is a first-person shooter released for the 3DO in 1995. The developers also intended to bring the game to the Sega Saturn and PlayStation in 1997. The game did, however, see a release on the PC though. Killing Time is a relatively simple first-person shooter, even for the time period, so it would make sense why the game would get canned. Major Damage is an unreleased action game once due to be published by Capcom. This was intended to be a 2.5D game with sprites made from pre-rendered graphics like in Donkey Kong Country. Major Damage was reportedly axed due to Sega's decision to cease supporting the Sega Saturn console. Theme Hospital is a PC hospital simulation and a sequel of sorts to Theme Park. It was also briefly known as Sim Hospital. Peter Molyneux announced Sega Mega Drive and Sega Saturn ports of the game before any significant work had been done on the PC version. However, this obviously turned out to be a lie, as both ports of this game were unsurprisingly scrapped. Streets of Rage 4 was to be published exclusively for the Sega Saturn. However, the game was rebranded as Fighting Force and pulled from the Sega Saturn completely after a disagreement with the developers about porting it to rival formats. Amusingly, the game was originally entitled Streets of Rage 4, saw releases under a different name completely on the PlayStation, Nintendo 64 and PC. Fighting Force received good to average reviews. Allegiance is an unreleased shooter once set for release on the 3DO, PS1 and Sega Saturn. All three versions of this game were cancelled, however it did eventually service on the PC in the year 2000. Allegiance revolved around two teams competing for control of a series of sectors in space. The PC release of this title was a complex cooperative large scale multiplayer which to be fair was slightly advanced for the period. Alongside the production of Sonic Extreme, another game was also in development known as Sonic Saturn. The game was to use a 3D model for Sonic and was never actually announced publicly that it was in production. The game never got that far into development before it was canned, however a Sonic bonus game featuring Paul was created which was also considered to be included as a bonus round in the Saturn version of Sonic 3D. Descent is a first person shooter developed by Parallax Software and was released for the IBM PC in 1994. It was brought to other platforms in the following years and was at one stage set to be released for the Sega Saturn where it would have been published by Interplay. The game was fairly well received critically and was praised for its labyrinth environment and free three dimensional range of movement. The 11th Hour is the sequel to The Seventh Guest, a popular game for the Philips CDI. The 11th Hour is a PC action game and a Sega Saturn version was planned but obviously cancelled. Overall this 1995 game is similar to The Seventh Guest 
and the gameplay is similar to its predecessor with the same puzzle based gameplay structure but with the additional element of a treasure hunt. Varuna's Forces is a first person shooting game developed by Accent Media and set to be published by JVC for the Sega Saturn, 3DO and Atari Jaguar CD. The Saturn version was cancelled in favour of a Sega Dreamcast version and the 3DO Jaguar versions were cancelled due to poor sales of the consoles. The Dreamcast version itself was also abandoned later. Finally, the developers moved to the PC, but by then, JVC had run into financial troubles and the game had to be scrapped entirely. The cancelled action-adventure game known as Witchwood was in development between 1994 and 1996 by Team 17. The game was set to be published by Ocean for the Amiga and PC, but later moved to the PS1, Sega Saturn and Atari Jaguar. The project was apparently terminated, however the reason still seemed to be unknown to the public. A possibility is that the game's publishing partners elected to drop the game's funding in light of Team 17's other games apparently having lacklustre sales. Offensive is a real-time strategy game released in 1996 for Windows PCs. Plans were put in place for a Sega Saturn version, but since it is on this list, it was obviously cancelled. The game used an isometric graphics engine where you can view maps from different angles. The game places you at the battlefields of World War II as you play as an Axis or Allies commander playing through 20 various scenarios. Mudkicker is an unreleased racing game for the Sega Saturn. It was cancelled alongside the PlayStation and PC version. The game was set to be an off-road racing game. These magazine screenshots of the game appear to be little of what remains of the title today. HMS Carnage, later renamed to Dreadnought, is a cancelled Victorian steampunk shooter with strategy elements. The game was set on the red planet of Mars and was in development for almost three years by the tribe team at Ocean Software. The game was an ambitious project, but only a small playable demo and detailed FMV was finished before the game got cut from development. Maximum Surge is an unreleased full motion video game by Digital Pictures, set for release on the 3DO, Mac, PC and Sega Saturn in the first quarter of 1996. Maximum Surge would have been an on-rail shoot-em-up in which you fight an enemy known as Drexel, who is attempting to replace humanity with cyborgs. The closest complete version we received of this game was simply a demo for the PC. The game is thought to have been cancelled due to the drop in popularity of full motion video based games at the time. The Incredible Shrinking Character is a cancelled action adventure game that was in development by GoGo Interactive Studios set to be published by Cyberdreams. The game would have received a 1996 release on the PC, Saturn and PS1. The plot involved a crazy doctor that shrinked the main character with an experimental potion. Players in their shrunk down form would have been able to explore supersized laboratories resolving puzzles to find a cure to return back to normal. Rattlesnake Red is an unreleased action game for the Sega Saturn and PS1. It was heavily inspired by Warner Bros Looney Tunes shorts. Rattlesnake Red was reportedly cancelled due to the game not living up to expectations. The game has been accused of being poorly managed and watered down from its original aims. It sounds a bit like Mighty Number no. 9 to me. Scud Race is a spiritual sequel to Daytona USA with very similar controls. However, the game contrasts in the fact that it exchanges NASCAR style stock cars for GT supercars. This game saw releases in the arcades and was set to be ported to the Sega Saturn at one stage too. However, plans were obviously changed. It is also of note that Scud Race is known as Sega Super GT in North America. I don't know about you, but if I think about the Micro Machines franchise, I'd straight away associate it with the Sega Mega Drive. Micro Machines V3 saw releases across a number of platforms, but the Saturn version was unfortunately axed. The game's cancellation was apparently due to Codemaster facing complications with the Saturn's hardware. Hyperblade is a PC futuristic sports game. A version was announced for the Saturn, however it didn't materialise. The sport in the game is a mutated version of hockey which is played in an egg shaped arena rather than on a flat field or rink. The arena is also loaded with weapons and deadly traps. Into the Shadows is an unreleased fighting game which was set for the Saturn, Playstation and PC. 
The game was developed by Triton and said to be published by Scavenger. The game was considered impressive for its time and it is thought to have been cancelled after Scavenger went bankrupt. Colliders is an unreleased Sega Saturn and PlayStation game set to be published by ASC Games. Colliders appears to be a futuristic hockey type game. ASC killed the title in 1997 because it had witnessed the failure of Ball Blazer, a similar title, and was worried for the livelihood of Colliders. Split Realities is a 2D action game developed by Funcom and was set to be published by JVC for the Sega Saturn and Sony PlayStation. The game was cancelled, although some material was apparently reused for Funcom's PC game, The Longest Journey. The game looked a lot like Flashback, and it's possible that the gameplay would have been similar too. Peter Molyneux once again returns to this list, this time with Dungeon Keeper. This strategy game developed by Bullfrog was released for Windows PCs. A Saturn port was planned but later cancelled. The port was around 10% complete before work switched to the PlayStation version, which in turn was cancelled too due to memory limitations. The Longest Journey is a point and click adventure game where the player interacts with objects on the screen to solve puzzles and advance the story. The game features expansive recorded dialogue, most of which is non-essential to completing the game, but contributes to the setting. The Saturn version of this game was cancelled, however it did receive a release on the PC. It is an action game for the PlayStation. A Sega Saturn port was planned but was cancelled for unknown reasons. Broken Helix is a third person shooter game developed and published by Konami. The game boasts 4D real-time gameplay allowing the player to activate and deactivate certain objects in later levels of the game. It also has four plot lines, allowing the player to finish the game in four different ways. Monster Maker Holy Dagger is a cancelled simulation game for the Sega Saturn. It was meant to be based on the card game Monster Maker franchise, not related to the PC Engine game. This game overall looked like it could have been a fun strategy RPG if it had ever seen the release. Thank you for watching today's video. Which of these games would you have liked to have seen on the Saturn? And are there any other cool cancelled Saturn games I have missed off this list? Which other top 50 videos would you like to see me make? Also, thank you to all of my Patreons for continuing to financially support this channel. You are all such amazing people. Thank you to Shizuka Kobayashi, Brad Warren, David Mountford, Andrew Bozanski, Atanas Garcia, Edward O'Reilly, Peter Zadorn, Retail Archaeology, and all of my other patrons. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Yeah! If there's any of you watching today who want to be added to this prestigious list of fantastic individuals, then check out my Patreon page. Ta-ta and farewell.